What's going on, blessed and beautiful people? Welcome to another edition of the Florida Woodsman. And today we're going to be talking about skinning and quartering up iguanas. Not this iguana. This is my baby girl. Her name's Lizzie. I've had her for about three years and she's she's a good girl. She's actually laid a few clutches and all that good stuff, but it's not about her. It's about the one we're fixing to quarter up, skin, throw in the cooler. It won't be a catch clean cook, it'll just be a skinning video. In case you guys were interested in skinning an iguana, quartering it up, harvesting the meat, if you do the deed, you shoot one out of the trees, I'll show you how to clean it up and get it ready for your kitchen. So, I'd like to hear it, here it go. Ready to go? Ready? The magic of three, two, one. So we're gonna start by taking off about that much of the tail. We don't need it, there ain't no meat in that, so we're gonna totally do away with it. The next thing I wanna do is just chop off the head. Get rid of the head, throw it off to the side, and then what I do is I take the scales down Take it down all the way to the back, all the way down the tail, all the way. Just like that. Just like that. All right? Then you take your fillet knife and you just go down both sides of the Well, actually, you know what? We should have did this first. Got a little hands. Yeah. There's like a little joint or something there. Yeah, we don't even. If you got a big enough knife, you don't. You don't need to join them, you know what I mean? If you're using a little knife, you'll have to find the joint. But since we're using the big boy, Chump. and this ain't a big iguana, we just go ahead and make a keychain, make an earring, or make a nose ring, you know what I'm saying? Say, I have an iguana. <laughs> I got a new lucky charm. <laughs> Rabbit's foot, iguana's foot. Mm -hmm. and you just, you just, all you do is just just like you would skin any other animal out you just it's a little bit smaller than you know like a hog or a deer but for those of you that have never done that kind of stuff you just follow the skin you peel the skin back you follow it down just like that look at that see and sometimes they'll pull yeah see the young enough ones will pull right away from the the body. See that? If you were trying to save the skin, you would go ahead and stick your knife in your corner just like that. Right? And just like that. If you ever, you've ever done a squirrel, it's kind of the same same type of deal. You can shuck them right out of their skin. Same thing here. You take your knife, get it, get it going right here, and then all the way back to the and then you should be able to pull your skin away from your meat. And it is a lot easier when you when you do them green, no pun intended, they're green all the time, but when I mean when they're fresh, you can pull, usually pull the skin right away from the body. But since this one we shot before we left, Sit on ice and we, all day. We, threw, we threw him on ice all day, he's a little bit, or she, it's a she, she's not a, she, not a he. Just like that, look. The moral. Look at that. Oh, she was fat, we didn't know yeah, she was she pregnant. Wasn't, she wasn't pregnant. No, it was a lot of so, just fresh eating. as you can see, I'm gonna lay this iguana skin out when I'm done and you're gonna you're gonna be like wow it's ready for a uh, belt that version. I mean if you really wanted to save the skin you would go from the underneath and save the spines and all that kind of stuff if you really wanted to save the hide but I'm just skinning it out to eat so I'm not even really worried about it. but if you've ever done a squirrel you can you can just do this with a squirrel you can pull them pull them right out of their skin it's 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 amazing how easy She'll come out of her birthday suit. 
Baby, baby. There you go. And cut that. Get rid of that. We don't need that. And all I'm after is the quarters and the tail and the hind quarters. I don't want any of the guts or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there. That's, That's a nice. hind quarter. That's a beautiful little piece right there. Yeah. And I guess there's really not it's much. It's not up. that big, yeah. It's not that much up here, but we can go ahead and Take that meat. I left the big one in my house. It's okay. That's a nice shoulder. Cool. And that's our harvested meat. I'm not even trying to harvest the the ribs or anything. She done. And that's oh. how you skin, quarter, clean up an iguana. So that, my friends, boys, girls, is how you do it. Um, next video will be cooking it up in the kitchen, getting the wife to try it out. But uh, I appreciate you guys for joining me, uh, watching. I appreciate the uh, love, support you guys give me. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I've got a, uh, an account on there. What's the matter, girl? What'd you see? She got a little spook there. Huh? She saw something down there. It's okay, girl. I'm over here. I'll let you go back in. There you go. Let you go back in the house. But I thank you guys for watching. We're going to leave it at that. Y'all be blessed. Head on out in them woods. Get them in the crosshairs. Fire them up. Love y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscription. A uh, little flag in the right-hand corner. Where you get the bell notification. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And we gone.